Hello guys, in today's video we're going to check out the best monitors under $200 in 2020. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I tried to list them based on their price, quality, durability and more. If you want to see their price and find out more information about them, you can check out the links in the description below. If you'd like to win one of these products, make sure you watch the whole video, click the like button and comment the hidden word found in this video. Number 5. AOC G2490 VX The monitor uses a 24.5-inch 144Hz TN panel from AUO. A slight difference compared to the older panel is that this is native 144Hz rather than 120Hz overclocked to reach 144Hz. The panel supports 8-bit color via the usual 6-bit plus FRC dithering. The specified grey-to-grey -gray response time is 1 millisecond. As usual, don't take this figure too seriously. The monitor looks noticeably sleeker than most roughly 24-inch 144Hz monitors. The new panel design features a dual bezel composition, or three sides frameless as AOC puts it, with a hard outer component as well as an exceptionally slender panel border. The panel border is not readily visible when the monitor is switched off and blends in seamlessly. Including both components, the bezels are roughly 7.5mm or 0.3 inches thick at the top and sides, and the full 1920x1080 at 144Hz is supported by either DP1.2 or HDMI 1.4 on both NVIDIA and AMD GPUs. Some GPUs will be restricted to 120Hz maximum via HDMI due to their port controller. Compatible AMD GPUs also support FreeSync via DP1.2A or HDMI, a DisplayPort cable, HDMI cable, VGA cable, 3.5mm audio cable and power cable is included as standard in the box. For users preferring more of an artistic aesthetic, there is an alternative variant to the monitor called the G2590PX slash G2, G2 Esports Signature Edition. The monitor itself is identical, but the chassis has an alternative design that's unique and eye-catching. Overall then, the monitor delivers an experience with a few bonuses compared to the sea of models using the older AUO panel, but there are a few niggles as well which users will have to weigh up for themselves. Number 4. LG 27MK600MB With the AMD FreeSync support, this monitor is compatible with both AMD and NVIDIA graphics cards. The monitor panel has good viewing angles and offers better contrast and colors than TN panels. The LG 27MK600M is a relatively new monitor. The monitor has a VESA mount. Graphically demanding games may cause frame drops outside the adaptive refresh rate of 56Hz. The minimum response rate of LG 27MK600M is 5 milliseconds, which can cause ghosting effects. In terms of pixel density, the LG 27MK600M has a low density of 81 pixels per inch, resulting in pixelated text and picture quality. LG 27MK600M has a total input lag of 19 milliseconds, which is bad among the competition. The monitor has an unimpressive contrast ratio of 1000 to 1. The LG 27MK600M has a maximum refresh rate of 75Hz, and this may be too low for the extremely fast frame rates in competitive games. The brightness of LG 27MK600M is lower than other monitors. For the average response rate, the LG 27MK600M scores 13 milliseconds, which can cause motion blurring due to ineffective synchronization with the high refresh rate. For graphics color quality, the LG 27MK600M has an average color depth of 6-bit, resulting in dithered gradients and more slightly less accurate colors. The LG 27MK600M has no display port, and which is essential for NVIDIA cars to work with AMD FreeSync. With this monitor, you can enjoy the enhanced detail and clarity of Full HD 1080p resolution display and with IPS or in-plane switching technology. Response times are shortened and color reproduction is improved, allowing users to view the screen at virtually any angle. Number 3. Acer XFA240 Moving on, we have a great gaming monitor, this time from Acer. The Acer XFA240 is an excellent budget gaming monitor that has many nice features. It has a superb response time and the image quality is top-notch on this one. It also has plenty of great features, a great design and the performance of this monitor is really good. The design of this monitor is pretty nice. It has a simple design and looks quite cool. It has a very good build quality. The rear chassis is made with pebbled plastic, the horizontal grooves run from side to side, and the Acer logo is in the top right corner. Overall, it does not look premium, but it does not look cheap either. A power supply is internal and you get an IEC power cord to provide the electrons. 
The bezels are about 0.55 inches wide and sit nicely on the anti-glare screen. It has a nice image with good color saturation and amazing contrast. It delivers a correct sRGB gamut with a gamma A bit below 2.2 and 6500K color temperature. This one too has a low blue light filter, which prevents eye strain and eliminates the harmful blue lights. The game modes of this monitor include three customizable profiles, and you can edit and save your settings. It also has the aim point feature, which consists of customizable crosshair overlays. Overall, the Acer GN246HL is an amazing monitor for those who want a 144Hz gaming monitor that doesn't cost too much and delivers amazing performance. Number 2. BenQ EW2780 BenQ's new premium 27-inch 4K monitor shows smaller can sometimes be smarter thanks to a compact footprint and USB-C connectivity. Maintaining rather than increasing that 4K resolution with larger panels, of course, results in lower pixel densities and less visual precision. Bigger displays also eat up more desk space, of course. Enter therefore BenQ's new EW2780U. Similar in many regards to its larger and more expensive 32-inch EW3280U sibling, at 27 inches the EW2780 casts a significantly smaller shadow. In terms of industrial design, the BenQ EW2780U is very much a 27-inch mini-me to the EW3280U's 32-inch Dr. Evil. It sports essentially the same contemporary aesthetic, with slim bezels on three sides of the panel, the lower border forming something of a more prominent chin. Designed for entertainment, including streaming, gaming, and viewing, the EW2780 27-inch 16-9 HDR FreeSync IPS monitor from BenQ uses their proprietary HDRI technology and an integrated sensor to detect ambient light levels and assess on-screen images, allowing for customized color performance, detail, contrast, and image clarity. The EW2780 features a 1920x1080 native resolution with a refresh rate of 75 Hz, as well as an in-plane switching or IPS panel support for 16.7 million colors, a widescreen 16 to 9 aspect ratio, a static contrast ratio of 1000 to 1, 250 CD per M squared brightness, 81 PPI, and a 5 MS GTG response time. Using the 178 degree horizontal and vertical viewing angles, it's possible to watch content from virtually any position. This display has three HDMI 2.0 ports, audio can be output using the 3.5mm headphone jack, as well as the dual 2.5 watt speakers. It really is one of the best monitors under $200 in the market. Number 1. AOC C24 G1 The AOC C24 G1 is a great and affordable 144Hz gaming monitor that delivers amazing gaming experiences at a very reasonable price. It has nearly all the features that other high-end gaming monitors have. This one is an excellent 24-inch 1080p 144Hz curved gaming monitor with 1 millisecond MPRT, AMD FreeSync, and more features that make this affordable monitor so perfect. It has a stylish design with ultra-thin bezels for a better cinematic viewing experience. The metal stand is very sturdy and even offers height adjustment up to 5.11 inches and 3.9 by 3.9 inch visa mount compatibility. It has a DisplayPort 1.2, VGA, a headphone jack, and two HDMI 1.4 ports. The bottom bezel has a honeycomb textured dark red stripe that looks so nice. The curved screen adopts a light matte anti-glare screen surface, which makes this monitor look more premium. This monitor has an amazing image quality, responsive gameplay, excellent features, and great design quality. The direct current backlighting reduces flickering and minimizes eye strain and fatigue. Overall, it's an amazing gaming monitor that delivers brilliant gaming experience at a very reasonable price. You should check this one out and see if it fits you best. Buying Guide Firstly, size. Pixel density has a big impact on monitor quality, and our sweet spot is 109 pixels per inch or PPI. A larger monitor will have low pixel density if it's a lower resolution. For viewing from typical desktop distances, 32 inches is plenty big. It's not hard to find a 32-inch gaming or general use monitor at 4K resolution for less than $1,000. Secondly, response time. Response time tells you how long a monitor takes to change individual pixels from black to white, or if it's GGG response time from one shade of grey to another. Longer response times can mean motion blur for when gaming or watching fast videos. 
For normal monitors, the highest response time you'll likely see is 5 milliseconds, while the fastest gaming monitors can have up to a 0.5 millisecond response time. And thirdly, HDR. Expanding the contrast and color range of the existing pixels in the display, HDR technology delivers better contrast, improved color accuracy, and more vibrant colors. Monitors with this feature will give you a more natural viewing experience, ideal for movies, games, and creating photo and video content. Within HDR technology, there's another hierarchy that indicates just how much brighter a picture will be, or just how many shades are available in the color palette. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you found it helpful, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. If you have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.